The Android Q developer preview is here, and whilst it isn't a massive UI overhaul that we saw with Android Pie, it does add some neat new features. So I'm here to show off a few of the best new additions. This is such a welcome addition as you can finally now enjoy a proper native dark mode on Android. The problem is that there are two ways to go about enabling it. The easiest and quickest way is to simply head into your quick settings panel and enable battery saver mode. When it's enabled you can enjoy the full black dark mode. The slightly more frustrating way is to enable the night mode before you upgrade to Android Q. Alternatively you can use ADB to enable it and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to head down that route. Now part of the first dev preview for Android Q you can finally get creative without the need for Nova Launcher. Don't expect tons of customization options though, at the minute via the developer options panel you can change the system accent colour and the font, but that's just about it. At present there are only 4 accent colours to choose from and 2 fonts, the default Google Sans or a combo of the Noto Serif and Source Sans Pro. Beyond that you can change the default icon shape to a teardrop, squircle or a rounded rectangle. By no means is this extensive, but at least it's a start to catch up with Oxygen OS. Finally we have a built in, if a little buggy, native screen recording feature on Android. You will need to dig into the developer settings to activate this new screen recording feature. And then you'll need to track down the feature flags within the debugging section and find the settings screen record long press function and toggle that on. To begin recording your display, simply hold down the power button to access the quick menu and then long press the screenshot button to start recording. Stopping recording is quite easy, all you have to do is swipe down the notification panel and select the stop option. With Android Q you're finally able to get granular with location control within any application you currently have installed. The new settings menu option allows you to set any application to have full access to your location data or only have it access your GPS when the app is running or simply deny it altogether. Having a notification pop up and then quickly disappear might be a problem to you. The new time to read setting allows you to adjust alert pop up length from 10 seconds right up to 2 minutes. It's worth noting that it's up to each app to support this setting natively. A neat inclusion that tidies up the sharing quick menu, the new sharing shortcuts allows you to share content even quicker from one application to another. For starters the URL is now front and centre with this new quick menu but the ability to quickly access app specific shortcuts is one that will hopefully expand and be really useful in future as more applications add support. As simple as it sounds there's now no more need for finding the Wi-Fi code or typing it in complex codes when you want to share your Wi-Fi network. Taken straight out of the Xiaomi handbook, you can simply generate a QR code for any network you're currently connected to and then quickly add a new user simply by scanning the QR code. Quick, neat and simple, I think this is actually one of the most underrated additions with the Android Q developer preview 1. Of course there is plenty more to delve into with the Android Q beta 1 update and we'll be sharing our findings over the next few weeks. These just happen to be a few of our favourite inclusions. Be sure to let us know what your favourite new features are in the comments section below. And before you head off, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Until next time, this is Damien for 9to5Google and I will speak to you later.